Hi there. This is an addendum video to the Doom Keyboard Only Myth video that I posted a few days prior to this one, so if you haven't watched that video, I recommend you do so. I link to it in the description. Anyways, we're here with the sharer release of Doom from December 10th, 1993. This is the earliest way you could have gotten Doom unless you were an id Software employee. But, now that we're here, I wanted to show you that not only could you play Doom with a keyboard and mouse, as you can see right here, you can select it, but you could play with WASD. And here's how. You just go to controller config and change the keyboard bindings to these. Simple as that. Now you can run Doom and now you can play the sharer release. This was possible as early as December 10th, 1993. So yeah. Mouse support was available from the start, and you could also play with the way most people play first-person shooters nowadays. This exact configuration was available from day one. Now, there's only one major flaw I can think of when it comes to this configuration. When you move vertically with the mouse, either forward or backward, your character moves forward and backward. Now that is probably the only genuine grievance with this way of playing Doom. Unless you like that. Because some people do, but I know a number of people won't like that. But, with this setup, you can get away with playing it just fine. As long as you don't move the mouse too vertically which you probably shouldn't, all should be well. All right, so as you can see, it's a pretty basic, but it works. Now, another grievance I noticed was, uh, people didn't like using a mouse back in the day because the uh, little balls at the bottom weren't that great. I don't know what balls you were using, or what, uh, things you were using to put said mouse balls on, but... I don't know. It's been a while since I've genuinely used one of those types of ball things, but... I don't think I've had too much problems with them back in the day. And I'm hoping you didn't either, but... Assuming from all the comments I got regarding them, I, I think <laughs> this was a problem. And I guess it stems from the fact that some mice were rather cheap back then. So, if you're running a gaming computer, why would you skimp out on the mouse? Well, I probably can guess I can see why, because most games didn't even use the mouse back then. And they didn't even allow you to rebind keys. Well, some of them didn't at the very least. But Doom did, and this is how you could have gotten WASD as early as 1993. And it works, the only downside is moving vertically with the mouse moves you forward and backward depending on which direction you're going. But even then, it's still a legit way to play Doom, and it always has been. You could have done the same thing with Doom 1995, or Doom 95 even with the configuration thing in the launcher. You can change the keys there, and you always could have as early as 95 for that port. Now granted, the mouse support for Doom 95 broke whenever uh, Windows 2000 came out, but by the time that OS came out, the source code was publicly available, allowing players to use Tons of other source ports, such as Boom, ZDoom, Doom Legacy, DOS Doom, which is different from this, by the way, among a few others that were just fl getting their roots. But listen, I need to clarify once again if you want to play keyboard only, that's your prerogative, and I will support you in doing so. But, 
If you want to gatekeep people from using the mouse and keyboard and deride them from using the keyboard and mouse, then that's not cool. And that's why I made the previous video and this one. But anyways, I've been rambling a little bit too long. Hopefully this should be the last video I make on this subject. If it isn't, I'll let you guys know. But I appreciate you watching this video. And uh, until next time, to the loo.